Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Friday the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. Following Robert Murray McShane's readings, he doesn't follow the church calendar, he just takes us through scripture. And so today we're reading 2 Chronicles chapter 29. The story has its background in chapter 28. Ahaz was an evil king who not only didn't follow God, he actually turned against God. And we're told in chapter 28, Ahaz gathered together the furnishings from the temple of God and cut them in pieces. He shut the doors of the Lord's temple and set up altars in every street corner in Jerusalem. So he turned away from God and turned the people away from God. Eventually he died and his son, Hezekiah, took over. Quite different from his father, we told he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father David had done. So he was quite different to his father. He obeyed God. And not only that, we told in the first month of the first year of his reign, he opened the doors of the temple of the Lord and repaired them. And that struck me. He did that in the first month of the first year of his reign. He did it immediately. He knew that it had to be done, and he did it. So often, uh, certainly I, and <laughs> quite possibly other people, we know what we should do, but we don't do it immediately. We th I'll think about it, and uh, I'll get around to it, and Hezekiah did it immediately. And that's, that's a challenge to us, to do things immediately. And as we go into Christmas, I think there's, there's probably a whole lot of things that God will challenge us to do. Um, and some of them might be things like dealing with relationships. Um, when you see somebody at Christmas dinner that there's been a falling out with, make it right. Maybe there's somebody we need to phone. Uh, maybe there's somebody that we know that's lonely that we can reach out to. What well, Those things that God calls us to do, let's follow Hezekiah and do them immediately. At Christmas time, we're also challenged to look at our faith. We sing, be born in us today. And so often we think, well, I'll begin this next year. In the new year, I'll do the new thing. No, let's do it today, as Hezekiah did. Um, don't put it off. Get on and do it immediately. And in that way, we trust that we will be blessed. Christmas will be a blessing and God's light will shine. So be encouraged and be challenged. And I wish everyone a wonderful, wonderful, blessed and God-filled Christmas. And I'm taking a week off, going off, getting out of town, catching up with myself. So we won't have any more midday mulls until the beginning of next year, starting again on the 2nd or 3rd of January. But know that God is with us every step of the way. We are always in his presence and therefore we are secure and blessed.